Our final position preview for the Salukis is one no one's been waiting on or interested in. It's the quarterbacks for the Saluki offense this year. Of course, Nick Baker, all over the record book, graduated, has moved on. Now everybody wants to know who will get the first snap next Saturday night at BYU, which we're all going to find out when that game starts. All three quarterbacks have made strides in fall camp. And definitely showing just from the progress from spring to summer to now fall, even just the, how we grade and the decision making, the target stuff. Um, definitely improvement, improvement from Hunter too, who's been here in the system. Uh, I mean, every semester he's been here now, feels like 12, I don't know how, how many semesters it is, but he's been here and every time it's been a little bit better each each uh, camp and, and spring ball. So it's always good to see that, some constant improvement. Uh, we talk about that, just relentlessly trying to improve every day. and. Uh, they hold themselves for a pretty high standard themselves, and that's always good. Yeah, you know, just being around and uh, sitting behind Bake for so long, learning some things, and I think the biggest thing I could do this camp was really helping the new guys out, getting them to understand the offense, what we were looking for and what the coaches were looking for, and that really helped out. Well, camp, we were just grinding, you know, uh, good on good, and now we're kind of shifting our focus to BYU, and that's in the film room, on the field, everything. Not making the same mistakes. Uh, I feel like, Every day we came out here and focused on getting better every day. And that's what we did. Um, at the end of the day, I made mistakes every day. And everybody's going to make mistakes every day. But it's about correcting those mistakes and building on and make sure that those mistakes that we made, we don't have those same mistakes. Mentioned all three quarterbacks. Yes, DJ Williams and Hunter Simmons are competing for the starting job. But Jake Curry has also been a massive help and has developed a ton from the spring and into the fall especially learning from two veterans in DJ and Hunter. Well, obviously with DJ and Hunter, they've been in college for a while, but like after reps when I'm out there, like just seeing like what they saw when I was out there and seeing if it was similar to me or what the comparison was. So, and it helps out a lot because I mean, DJ has been playing for a while and same with Hunt. I mean, I would just say like how close we are. Like we all have a tight bond. Like DJ said earlier, like I helped him move. Hunter gave him rides and then Hunter's been giving me rise when we had to go to True Blood during fall camp. So, I mean, we're all really close. Camp did start with four quarterbacks, and E.T. Harris provided some sparks early in camp with his blistering speed, but unfortunately suffered a season-ending injury during camp, but is now starting to recover. Coach Rowland loved what E.T. Harris brought to the quarterback room during camp. For him, you know, seeing a, knowing him for, for a while now and then recruiting him and getting him here and has a chance to come out here and, and uh, put on some pretty special plays, you know, in his limited time uh, reps and early in camp. And then he's got a great personality, great leadership qualities about him and that really st stood out even in, in recruiting him, but also just in the short time here so far. But uh, yeah, you hate to see that, uh, especially a painful, such a painful injury uh, like, he, like he has, but, um, but he's definitely got a bright future ahead of him. Both DJ and Hunter are ready for the quarterbacks to lead an offense that will have plenty of support around them. You know, I mean, we got a bunch of explosive guys on the outside, a receiver. You can go down the list and we can name them. But, and a running back room, really solid, a bunch of new guys coming in. Uh, a lot of depth there. And uh, O-line, you know, experienced group coming back. Adam Noah, I think they're going to be really good. And uh, tight ends, tight ends are always going to hold it down. I mean, those guys are so talented. Those are the type of guys that if they come talk to you, they mean, they mean what they say. So uh, it's good being around those guys. You love watching the way they work and the way they prepare. Uh, Hezekiah, K. Lou, VD, the list goes on and on. The whole receiver room, the way they work day in and day out is probably the most special thing about those guys. The way they come back and communicate, tell you what they see, tell you what I see. Uh, those are the type of things that make a receiver and quarterback relationship great. And that's what I like to be around. You know, DJ in the spring with Hunter going down like on the third practice, I mean, he had a chance to really get a lot more reps, um, you know, in some tougher environments versus one-on-one -on -one good on good stuff. Um, and that carried over to the, the fall where it really prepared him to have a much better opportunity uh, to really get going and, and playing more without thinking, uh, just, just reacting and, and quicker processing and stuff like that. So, you know, I think Jake, I, I, I would say Jake's probably had more reps as a true freshman than anybody in the country, I would think. I mean, 200 something reps in the spring, gotten stuff that will pay off in, in next year and then definitely in the three or four years in the future that will, you can't replace. Um, and then, yeah, with Hunter, it's just for him, you know, really dialing in, being more intentional, uh, just how he leads the team, leads the offense out there. And that's where his growth has really um, been good to see is just that part of uh, being the leader because um, he knows it well. He's obviously improving that, but I think just being able to, to get the other guys to, to bring their, their level up too.
That does it for our position previews, which was part of our fall camp series presented by our friends at the Illinois Army National Guard. Tomorrow, Saluki Radio crew dives deeper in the special teams, and then we are on to game week coverage against the BYU Cougars. Hard to believe kickoff is next Saturday.